Hey, today I'm gonna go over the Pathfinder palette, uh, specifically the shape modes within that in Adobe Illustrator. So to follow along, go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator. It can be various versions. I have CS5, but if you have CS2, CS3, CS4, that's fine. And go ahead and click out a couple, draw out a couple squares or rectangles, some shapes. You can go to the rectangle tool right here and click and drag. I changed the fill to a couple different colors and the stroke I just kept um, to default. Next, go ahead, once you have drawn out a few, doesn't matter how they're situated, but um, just a handful, go to Window and then Pathfinder, and that will bring up this Pathfinder palette. And if you look on this Pathfinder palette, what we have are four shape modes up at the top. Uh, first one is Unite, second one's Minus Front, then Intersect and Exclude. I'm just gonna go over what these do. Go ahead and click the black arrow up here, the selection tool. And if you click and drag around all of these and then click on Unite, what that is gonna do is gonna combine all of these shapes into one shape. And then you can use the white direct selection arrow and pull the anchors and the paths. And it's basically one shape here, one object, okay? In some older versions of Illustrator, you may have to hit expand first to get rid of, um, so you still can't move around one object at a time, so it's truly is one object. I'm gonna hit Control Z a couple times to undo that, Command Z on Mac. And the next one is minus front. So what's that gonna do is, if I go ahead and click it here, you'll see, it subtracts everything in the front except the very last object that's arranged on the bottom. So if you just select two, if you just click off here, click and drag around two shapes and then click minus back, or minus front actually, it subtracts whichever one is in the front so you have just the shape here. And again, you can hit expand on some of the older, older ones. I'm gonna just undo that, control Z or edit undo. Now the next one is intersect, and basically what that is gonna do is wherever it's intersecting, if you take these two right here, you can hold shift and click on each, or you can click and drag over both and hit intersect. Wherever they were intersecting, it is uh, it leaves that, those shapes, okay? So I'll just undo that. That's pretty simple. And the next one is exclude. What that does, it excludes overlapping shape areas. So if I click that and it excluded wherever two shapes were overlapping so you don't have any content there. So I'll show you a more simple example just with these two here. If I just have this and I have this one, often uh, times, let's say I just have the one on top in the middle and click and drag and it just basically subtracts that middle, so now we have this. So that's helpful if you wanted to say, make specific shapes uh, pretty quickly. So create a rectangle tool, and if you created a rectangle, a rounded rectangle tool inside it, uh, let's make it a different corresponding um, color here for the next one. And so you have these two shapes here, and again, you can do exclude, and that takes out that middle one, so it almost looks like a TV or something. So you can use that for a couple different things. Um, the first one, again, maybe you wanted to make some clouds for a logo. You can take the ellipse tool, hold shift to make perfect circles, draw a bunch of different clouds. I actually have a tutorial on that, a written one on making cloud shapes on the website. And if you click and drag around all that and hit, again, Unite. On an older one, it might be called Add To. And with this, you can actually do type on a path as well and type clouds around that. Thank you.